Welcome back. Captain Tarkin, haven't you learned to trust me by now? You may have earned my trust, General Skywalker, but my faith in your comrades is still lacking. We are introduced finally to Captain Tarkin. Now, classic Star Wars fans will remember Tarkin, but as a Grand Moff, who is in charge basically of the Death Star in the film A New Hope. What? You're far too trusty. Dantooine is too remote to make an effective demonstration, but don't worry. We will deal with your rebel friends soon enough. Fans have wanted to see Tarkin, and it just so happened that organically in one of the story meetings, we had an opportunity to introduce another one of these Imperial officers. George, I believe, was the one that suggested, well, why not Tarkin for the Citadel series of episodes? And we all thought, wow, what a great opportunity. Though he's only in one of the Star Wars films, too, if you count his brief performance in Revenge of the Sith, he made a lasting impression. And it really gave us a chance to explore the very beginning of the relationship between Anakin Skywalker and Tarkin. How they have similarities, how they kind of think the same. Have I offended you? No. Anakin even kind of begrudgingly admits that the Jedi aren't doing enough that they need to do to win the war. Well, I see we agree on something. Tarkin is one of the few characters in the entire Star Wars saga that can basically tell Darth Vader to back off to a certain extent. I'm taking an awful risk, Vader. This had better work. When you get a character like Tarkin, someone that's been in the classic films, the crew always responds. I, th I think there's this little bit of extra effort that goes into everything surrounding that character, from just the way someone poses, where they'll put Tarkin in this kind of famous pose that we see him in in A New Hope to the rigging of the character to make sure that everything's gonna be very malleable and we'll get a great performance out of the lip sync. I knew that fans would have a very strong reaction to this character. We needed to find the actor that could really portray this correctly and Steven Stanton is a huge Star Wars fan and I thought he did an amazing job. It wasn't just that he was trying to be Peter Cushing through his voice, he was really trying to be the characterization of Tarkin that, that was brought to it back in 1977. Steven knew which words to accent and, and how to put emphasis on them. I am concerned that the Jedi have elected this child to lead the group. I think it lent itself well to being a great homage to the work of Peter Cushing in the original Star Wars as Grand Moff Tarkin. Thank you.